my shaky, steady hands. I always feel so shaky though. This week to Patcha, we're building a cruising sailboat. <laughs> and I'm still wearing the same clothes. <laughs> yeah, okay, so what we've been doing this week, um, one of the things, well, last week was all about making connections, wasn't it? Various fuel lines and things. And one of the things Kerry and I did this week was that we fitted the, the through deck fitting for the, um, for the fuel tank breather or vent. And I've now hooked the pipe up to that. So that's all connected. Yeah, if you like these videos, Click the subscribe button, please. It was, it's a great way to support us and, and help us get out perhaps to, to a wider audience. So I need to try and make up a, a through deck fitting. And I've got these parts here. It's um, two true design right angle fittings and a bit of brass pipe. But sadly, the, the threads on the brass pipe are too short or rather the shoulder in the middle is too long. So I need to dig out my pipe threading kit and see if I can... Uh, cut the threads a bit longer to make it work. Just wants a little bit off, don't they? Just take a minute or two off of that. Oh, 
Oh, that's better. So hopefully that's in the right place. Not particularly easy to see, I'm afraid, is it? It's, it's one of those bits of work where I'm in the way all the time. I can't get a camera and me in there, but fuel tank breathers in. Pleased about that. One of the big things I've been doing, as you see behind me, a bit of cabin sole in position, all done. Got seven coats of varnish on that one. Um, so start made the start on the cabin sole and uh, various boards. Some of these boards here I'm going to redo because I'm not happy with the layout, but up as far as here actually, that's all good. And I'm in the process of cladding them and uh, sanding them back, obviously varnishing them.
Yeah, here's one of the boards. I'm just lining up the cladding. And I've gone for these two rather jaunty mahogany stripes that will run the whole length of the boat, one either side, run the whole length from the, not the whole length of the boat, but the whole length of the cabin soles. So should lead your eye nicely down that length. And quite pleased with those. They're quite good, I think. Making up this part to fit the barrel roller, all in bronze obviously, and that will be the middle, and it's just a little bit wider than the roller, both sides obviously, so when that's clamped the roller itself will spin. Um, yeah, doing it on the little lathe here, and I've just discovered, to my chagrin, I think is the word, that these little lathes are driven by a rubber belt. You know, the advertisers have metal gears, which if you come around the back carry, you will see it does indeed have metal gears. That's all very well, but the drive from the motor to the metal gears is transmitted by a little rubber belt, which is very wonderful. Um, so if you decide to buy it, you know, it's really not bad. It's, it's quite a capable machine in many ways, but if you decide to buy one, Check the belt and order yourself a load of spare belts is my tip. I've just bought a couple on AliExpress. We'll see what happens. It'll be a few weeks till they get here. Um, hopefully it's right. It seems to be the right one in the description. And uh, if it's the right one, I should buy a load more, that's for sure. That is a bit of a disappointment, really, that that is what transmits the drive. So I've got it back up and running. I've got a nice, um, is it Gates belt? I've got a belt in here on Amazon, rubber belt, an upgrade. I've ordered a couple of the original ones from Alibaba. It'll be a few weeks, but I did find uh, a belt of the same tooth pitch on Amazon eventually after a fair bit of searching. And, and I got that in a few days, as is the nature of these things, and fitted it and it's working well. Actually, I think it's an improvement. And I'll probably post the link to those belts below this video, just because I think, I say, I think it's an upgrade. Lathe's running well. Another upgrade, I fitted this delightful sewing machine, LED, magnetic, with a, what, sort of a dimmer, <laughs> at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's more of an on-off dimmer, but works very nicely. Gives us a bit of light on the, on the chuck there. And, uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with the little lathe. I was surprised, as I said, very surprised to find that they were belt driven because one of the things, one of the reasons why I chose this lathe was because the gears in the back, you see those gears they carry, I took the cover off, uh, are all metal. So some of these have nylon gears, some have metal gears, and I chose the one with metal gears and then was rather surprised to find there's a rubber belt or a, a plastic belt driving them. But as I say, the new belt, I think, is an upgrade. It seems to have more, much more power with this new belt. Um, clearly, the motor doesn't have more power, but it seems to transmit the power much more effectively with the new belt. So, yes, running well. And great little tool. 
We've got this lovely, we've got roofers in next door, so you might hear that. We've got this lovely bronze bell roller that we had on Miss Molly actually, and uh, had to adapt it a little bit to fit it into these stainless cheap pieces there, the bell fit in there. And uh, all I've done is made up, made up these pieces, the bell roller runs on this bronze roller, slides in there obviously, and then two cheap pieces machined to size either side of it, so it's got a little gap there, a little bit of play, it all fits up in position, and uh, all in bronze, very pleased with that. I can't fit the roller, because if I do, I can't shut the doors. So at the moment, until we get it dragged out, Gotta stay off. This is the bow roller in its home for now. Yeah, that's it for now, guys. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Trips all of that place, and uh, we'll be back. See you next time. Bye.